it is Dawson. So today I'm doing a video all about the pros and cons of DePaul University. If you guys don't know me or have watched any of my videos, my name is Allison. I'm a sophomore at DePaul University in Chicago and I'm majoring in health science with a concentration slash emphasis on public health. So that's a little bit about me if you're curious um, and haven't watched me um, or seen my videos at all. So yeah, but so welcome. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Um, for those of you who uh, have watched me and all that, then welcome back. Um, but yeah, this video was basically me sharing the pros and cons of DePaul. Um, just know that this video is subjective and they're based on my opinions. So those of you who are DePaul students and happen to watch this video um, may disagree with me, may agree with me in certain things. Um, so just know that, that my opinion, this is just my opinions and all that and from what I've heard from other people um, that go to DePaul, but obviously there's going to be people that may disagree with me. So I just wanted to give a quick disclaimer and PSA that um, just take this video with, I guess, a grain of salt. I also wanted to upload this video because it's also kind of around college application season and like, you know, applying to colleges or maybe like narrowing down your list of schools that you're interested in. So I wanted to do this video kind of around this time um, before uh, the year, the, the, before 2020 comes so that like, you know, you guys have this video to, you know, have just for reference about like, oh, if you're interested in DePaul, like, what are the good things? What are the bad things? Well, here I am to tell you. So yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like it. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification down below to be notified every time I upload a video. And with that being said, we can just jump into um, this video. So I'm gonna start off with the pros, the good stuff. So I have five for the pros and five for the cons just to make it equal. So for the pros, the first one, is that you're basically in Chicago, you're in the city, and DePaul is actually split between two campuses. So we have one in downtown called the Loop Campus, and then we have another one in Lincoln Park, which is where I spend the majority of my time. It's basically in the suburbs, so um, it's definitely a lot quieter, and you know, there's, you see a bunch of other people there. So yeah, it's less fast paced than when you are in downtown, obviously. Um, so I do spend a majority of my time in Lincoln Park, which I said earlier, but so I'm kind of more there and I, I'm not really in the city all that often. I do when I'm like, you know, meeting friends or anything like that. Um, so that's when I usually go to the loop just because I, my college of, <laughs> my college of science and health is actually located in Lincoln Park and a lot of my classes are there. So I pretty much am in Lincoln Park for that reason. Um, but if you're like a business student, if you are in film or if you're in the CDM, then you are normally in the Loop uh, Loop campus, which is in downtown. So just to let you guys know how that works, but you're basically in Chicago, you're in the city and you experience, you're obviously experiencing college in a different way than most people who live and go to a school that is like in a college town or a college campus. So with that, you kind of feel like you're not really in a college campus just because the you know environment and everything is very different. It's much more fast paced, especially um, when you're taking classes in downtown. But you really like when you're in Chicago, you experience it in a different way. Like I'm, I live in the suburbs um, and I'm technically living in Chicago, but not really. Um, so it's very different when you actually go to school there. You you know you live there it's very different and I feel like the couple of times before I even went to DePaul um, it, it like you're just experiencing the city in a different way you would go to like the basic like the bean and like Millennium Park like Chicago there's so much more to do beyond that so I didn't realize that until I actually started um, at DePaul and started you know my college um, life like it's very different so you experience college in a different way since um, DePaul is technically a private university, which it is. I don't know why I said technically. It's a private university. There's smaller class sizes, which allows you to engage with professors better, them getting to know you, you getting to know them, you get to collaborate more with your classmates and the people that um, you're in the class with. Um, so literally like 
a lot of the classes that I've taken are between 20 to 40 students, which I really like. Again, to some people, that may be too small or, you know, whatever. But for me, I really love having smaller class sizes for that very reason. Uh, the biggest lecture hall um, that I had was 90 students, and it was for my bio class. And a lot of, like, science classes and, like, chem and all that also have about 90 students. Um, and that was a lot for me. Like, I just really, like, for me, I feel like I got really... Um, lucky that I ended up kind of changing my concentration because I was a bioscience major so now and then now I'm a public health um, major within health science so I'm kind of lucky now that I have a lot of more kind of um, smaller classroom sizes which I really like anyways and so yeah that's definitely a pro for me again to some people it may not be again this is my opinion so I just wanted to throw that out there Another pro is that you have longer breaks in terms of winter break. So basically start classes September, um, whatever that Wednesday is after Labor Day is when we usually start fall quarter and then we end about uh, Thanksgiving week. So by Thanksgiving, you're done with fall quarter. You're done with your first set of classes uh, for the year. And then you have a six week break. So basically from Thanksgiving all the way to January, the first week of January you have winter break which is really nice because during that time you can take classes we call it december intercession uh, i don't actually know how many classes you can take during that time but probably like one or two maybe you can take during that time a lot of students go back home and you know get jobs um, to make some more money um, and people also go travel and you know go on vacation a lot of my friends are out of the country at the moment so they're enjoying that so you can do a lot of things during that break and honestly I really like to have a longer winter break during December because that's when the holiday season is happening you can do a lot more things and um, it's just really nice the only downside is a lot of um, your friends that are probably you know on a semester uh, system will still be in classes by that time so you won't see them for like a couple of weeks or like you won't be able to see them like halfway through like your winter break which kind of sucks but um, I feel like there's a lot of positive things about it some people have mixed opinions about the whole longer winter break and then you know like a one week spring break and whatnot but um, overall I think it's just nice having a lot more time and, um, and a lot more time during December to just kind of take a break from school and all that so again people have mixed opinions about it but it's nice to just have a longer break uh, during the holiday season when a lot of things are happening another pro is that you don't have class on classes on Fridays which is really great because then you have a three-day weekend and I'm gonna mention more about this you kind of hear you've kind of heard me talk about quarter system and so I'll kind of talk about it briefly in this part of the video. I'll talk about it more in the con section of this video. But basically your schedule for um, classes are Monday, Wednesday, you have the same classes, Tuesdays, Thursdays, you have the same classes. And so you don't have classes on Fridays and a lot of, um, a lot of um, people, a lot of students like me don't have classes on Fridays, but there are some science majors and business majors that have classes on Fridays. Um, but the majority of students don't. Um, I know you guys are going to think, well, if you're a science major, why don't you have classes on Fridays if a lot of science majors have classes? It's a whole story. You might not get it, but I'll try and make it like, you know, I'll try and like I'll let you guys know in a way you guys can understand, I guess. I don't know. Um, but basically, I since I was a bioscience major, those are a lot of science classes. And so th usually you have a lot of discussions on Fridays for those classes. But since I switched to public health, I don't have a lot of science science classes for that reason. So that's why I don't have classes on Fridays. I just wanted to say that, but I did, I was a science, bioscience, I did have a bioscience concentration um, for only one quarter. It was like my first quarter at DePaul for my freshman year last year. So I experienced having Friday classes, but um, now I, since I switched I don't have classes on Fridays for that reason so hopefully that made sense to you guys um, so yeah you don't have classes on Fridays for that reason um, and it's really nice to have a three-day weekend because honestly you need it because I you know you work like from Monday to Thursday you know straight and it's really it's a lot to handle so I feel like it's nice to have a break over the weekend a nice long weekend to just you know relax and not really think a lot about school, even though that's a complete lie because I think about school like 
24 7 um, when I'm in school so it doesn't really work out but it's nice to have a nice break and kind of you know take it a bit easier uh, during the weekend which I'm always down for. Last pro for this video and for DePaul is really that um, a lot of the professors, at least the ones I've had and the ones I've heard about um, and the classes I've taken, um, a lot of the professors are very knowledgeable and very passionate and I've noticed that with different professors because I've realized that a lot of them are so knowledgeable about the field they're in and you know the topics they cover and the classes they teach like it's just so like it's such a breath, breath of fresh air especially you know being in middle school and high school I never really felt like you know they really to be honest like really liked what they were teaching and I finally feel like when you're in college and even at, at least like where um, the class I've taken and you know it's a Paul like I just feel like a lot of the professors there are super knowledgeable want you to learn and um, just have so much interest in what they're learning and helping their students achieve um, and succeed in their class and beyond, which is amazing. And it's just such a breath of fresh air to see that. And now going on to the cons, the not so great parts about DePaul. There's quite a few, there's five. I uh, tried to make it even. Um, but the first thing you should know, especially if, even if you just Google search this and want to know the tuition, it's very expensive to go to school here like if like I'm trying to I'm gonna say this nicely but it's not I mean I'm not dissing them or shading them but I'm just saying like if you're trying to make ends meet and you are barely being able to go to school here or like you just don't know if you'll be able to um be able to go to school here basically like don't do it because it's just so expensive you're gonna end up with a lot of debt and it's just really expensive to go here because when you think about it, like how much you're paying for it and then the quality of education, they just don't really line up, I feel like. And so I think you have, if you have like really great, if you um, get really good scholarship and a lot of financial aid, um, then I think that, um, you know, you definitely should go here. But at the same time, if you are struggling and you're not financially stable, then maybe you shouldn't. I just wanted to say that, that it's really expensive. Even the people I've talked to, even the family members that currently go to DePaul with me or have graduated, it's so expensive and it's just a lot. So I just wanted to say that, that it really is expensive. Your con is because you are on the quarter system, it goes by so fast, like it's very fast paced, like you have um, about 10 weeks and then finals week for, you know, one quarter and that's a lot, especially if you miss one class, like you're doomed, <laughs> like just like you're, it's just going to be really hard to miss one class um, because I heard that if you miss four classes then, or four of like one class, you basically like are two weeks behind because it goes this fast when it comes to classes and the quarter system. So you don't want to get behind. So you have to literally be on your A game and like you have to stay on top of your work or else you're just gonna fall behind and you're just going to regret doing that and regret missing and skipping classes. Um, even if like it's like a class that I just dread so much, like I just push through it and I still go because I know that I'm going to be sorry that I missed and skipped classes. So it's not, it's just not ideal for you to miss classes. Like I feel like when you're on a semester system, it's easier because you have 15 weeks and then finals week. But when you're in DePaul and you're on the quarter system, it's gonna be very hard to miss and skip a class and still be fine is basically what I'm saying. So, you know, listen to me guys, take my advice. If you've learned anything from this video is to not skip school especially when you're on the quarter system at Tepal. <laughs> Another con is that housing is not guaranteed beyond um, first year students. So basically like they prioritize, like Tepal housing prioritizes first year students, which is, you know, which, I sh which I'm not going to get mad at because I think that's very important. But at the same time, I feel like it puts like for second year students and like, you know, juniors and seniors, you know, in a pickle because, um, they won't be able to be guaranteed and secured housing from DePaul, especially because it is so expensive. I feel like you should be able to offer that to, you know, returning and ret returning and current students, you know what I'm saying? And so I feel like 
that's definitely a con because for me I'm honestly glad that I was able to find an apartment and actually get a guaranteed place to live um, at DePaul um, especially you no know, especially the fact that I'm a sophomore you know what I mean and so I feel like it's just kind of a bummer that housing isn't guaranteed for people who are sophomores juniors and seniors and um, all of them so I feel like it's just kind of a, it's just not the best thing an ideal thing to not have guaranteed housing for all students the next thing is that meal plans are not great uh, I don't want to say they're terrible because I feel like it could be worse um, but yeah meal swipes and the whole thing like the dining options are not vast like there's very few dining options also meal swipes um, you meal swipes don't transfer over after you know the quarter so you don't you wonder where all that money goes for goes to and so it's kind of um i don't know it's a bit shady for the paul to um not transfer the swipes between quarters but also you don't get reimbursed that money that you when you don't use up all your swipes which kind of is shady which i think they need to because like where is that money going towards you know what i'm saying you're already paying so much to go to school here like you might as well get like reimbursed some of the money that you uh, when it comes to unused meal swipes and even like when i do use the meal swipes like i'm not gonna say i use all of them because it's kind of hard sometimes um but definitely when it comes to like meal swipes like i feel like i'm not making the most out of what i'm getting there you know what i mean like sometimes i just don't really have a lot of options to eat something and then I just use a meal swipe and that's pretty much it you know what I'm saying so I feel like it's kind of um, a bummer that you know you don't really get a lot of options when it comes to the dining hall and you know for using your meal swipe so it's kind of um, a little bit of a bummer and kind of sucks that um, sometimes um, what you're paying for to sit equate to the quality of the food you're getting my last con is that there isn't a lot of school spirit um, and there's not a lot of sense of community because DePaul is a private university and it's mostly a commuter school so a lot of and also because it's in the city so a lot of people commute by train um, and sometimes by car and so you don't I feel like there's not really that a lot of people that actually live on campus and so it's kind of hard to you know have that feel of school spirit that you get in a lot of like big public universities um, like the University of like Arizona, ASU, um, University of Texas and whatever all those other schools I feel like you don't really get that um, same feel at DePaul and also because you don't have a football team which I don't think any Chicago school has a football team I could be wrong but I'm pretty sure that's what I've heard and so it kind of makes it hard to kind of feel like you're part of you know a school and that you really want to root for it you know at football games and all that and like you kind of miss going to games and tailgating and all that stuff so it's kind of um something that you will miss and that you won't see it to paul because of that reason so it kind of makes it hard for people to kind of feel like they belong and they um fit in to DePaul um so you kind of have to work a little bit harder to get more involved in clubs and organizations and um kind of find you know a group of friends and so I feel like you got you have to work a little bit harder but um you know I feel like DePaul is the right fit for me at the end of the day but it's kind of, it's kind of sucks that you don't really have that school spirit and something I wish that you know we had more of but you know it is what it is that's all i wanted to share with you guys in this video so for those of you who are thinking about depaul interested hopefully this video helps you guys out um and for those of you who are depaul students and want to you know chime in and leave your thoughts in the comments down below let me know what your cons and pro your pros and cons are for depaul because i want to know i feel like what i said was pretty i feel like is the sentiment I've gotten from a lot of different students that I've talked to so yeah there might be some um, differences but for the most part I feel like the things I've talked about in this video um, kind of run through everybody else and a lot of people have the same um, views and opinions as me um, for the most part so yeah but hopefully this video helps you guys out that's always my goal with my videos is to help you guys out and I guess with that being said, I will talk to you guys in my next video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and hearing my opinion and all that. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification down below to be notified every time I upload a video. And with that being said, I will talk to you guys in my next one. Have an awesome day. Bye guys.